Uh, this map shows the tornadoes reported across the area on Friday night into Saturday morning. And, and you can see the majority of them following that path from the, that corridor from northeast Arkansas into Missouri, Tennessee, and then into K Kentucky. Now, meteorolo meteorologists are still working to confirm the specifics, but some experts believe this isn't an outbreak of multiple tornadoes, but rather one that stayed on the ground from Arkansas all the way into Kentucky, about 200 miles. That would be the second longest single tornado path in U.S. history. But the storm was unique for other reasons as well. In fact, changing temperatures across the United States is prompting weather experts to rethink the area of the country that's traditionally known as Tornado Alley. Now, this map from researchers at Northern Illinois University shows exactly what's happening. And this happened over the last four decades. Tornadoes are decreasing in states like Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and increasing in states as we go further east and a little bit north. That's because tornadoes need the combination of cool and dry air with warm and moist air. But amid increasing droughts out west, that combination isn't occurring in the typical locations, but rather further to the east. Experts say despite the tra changing trends, the traditional tornado alley is still the number one location in the country in terms of frequency of tornadoes, again, kind of moving Tornado Alley a little bit this way, at least the traditional thought process of that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.